Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you all 169 chests in Surumi Island. And here are some crucial information that you don't want to skip. First of all, in order to fully unlock the island, you need to complete the World Quest series through the mists. This quest will last over 4 days in real life, so it takes at least 3 server resets. So if you haven't completed it yet, do that first, and links are in the description below if you need walkthroughs. Second, after you have completed this series, this island has its own 3 day cycle, and there are certain remarkable chests that appear only during a certain day during this cycle. If you are unsure which cycle you are in, here is how you can find out. First, let's teleport to this waypoint above ceremonial site. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. And if you see one pyro abyss mage in this direction, then that indicates you are in the first day cycle. If you turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and you see these two mages, that means you are in the second day cycle. And similarly, if you turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and you see these three mages, that means you are in the third day cycle. In this video, I have separated the chests that appear during the second day and the third day cycles. In the worst case scenario, if it's really mixed up for you, check both parts just to make sure you are not missing any chests. Otherwise, wait for the next cycle and try again. Also, from the remarkable chests, you will only get blueprints for your teapot. And I have put together a list of blueprints and from which chest number you get them from in the comment section below. So you can double check your inventory or your furniture list to confirm if you have opened a certain chest already. Alright, and that should be all the information we need. And with that said, let's get started. And we are teleported to this Statue of the Seven. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here we are going to solve a puzzle. And first, let's defeat the enemies. We are facing towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. So we are facing towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. From left to right, we are going to hit the first one three times, and then hit the top one in the middle three times, and then the right one once. So let me demonstrate. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come to this edge, look down, there's a bird statue there. And here we're going to need a gadget. This feather, which you will get as you do the World Quest series. So if you don't have it yet, check the description below for which World Quest series are required. Then let's equip it and use this feather near the statue. And these blocks will appear. There are four of them. And from left to right, we are going to hit the second one twice. And then hit the third one twice. So let me demonstrate. After that, let's teleport back. 
head towards east, right side on the minimap. We are going to do a challenge here. And to activate this Electro Granum, you need to defeat the two enemies nearby. After that, collect the Electro Particles. Alright, after that, let's teleport back and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Here, defeat the enemies. After that, let's climb up here. There's a Sealy, so let's follow it. It stayed at this tree trunk, so let's trigger it. And from here, let's first head towards south, downward on the minimap. And here, for some reasons, if the puzzle is already solved for you, you can go ahead and open up the chest. But if not, here's what we are going to do. Let me switch to another account real quick. So initially, there's an electro sealy nearby, floating around. And basically what you need to do is simply stay at the left probe and wait for the Electro Silly to pass. You will get Electro Element on your character and we are going to position the left probe and the Silly will help us with the right probe. Then let's head towards northwest upper left on the minimap and defeat the enemies. Then let's continue to follow the Sealy. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. We are going to solve a puzzle. There are three blocks here. And from left to right, we are going to hit the first one once. And then hit the right one twice. So let me demonstrate. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Come to this corner, to your left, there's an enemy, so let's defeat it. Then we can dig up an Electro Sealy here, so let's follow it. And that's the first one. Then turn towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, there's the second one. Then for the third one, let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Come up here and grab an electro granum. And head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Pass through this barrier, there's the third Sealy. Then for the last one, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap.
Here you will need to use a character that can place geo construct or any character that can generate wind current or teleport. And in worst case scenario, you can climb up on this mountain on the opposite side and then glide over here to trigger this silly. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap and climb up here. Defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Here defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Come down here, there are two electro pillars, so let's activate them. After that, let's use the feather near this bird statue. And then there are two more pillars, so we are going to activate these four electro pillars in total. Then head towards east, right side on the main map, and defeat the enemy. Then keep heading towards east and follow the path. And here defeat the enemies. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the main map and climb up here. Climb to this level where you will find an electrogranum. Behind it, let's clear the bushes. And inside here, there's a probe. We are going to position it later. So first, grab an electrogranum and teleport towards west, left side on the minimap. In this corner, there's a probe. So let's position it and light it up. Then let's go in this direction. Land here and climb up. Here there's a second probe, so let's position it so that it lights up. Then let's glide in this direction and to the other side. Now let's grab this electrogranum again to light up the last probe. And the chest will appear below us. Then let's climb back up. Come to the electrogranum here and turn towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. On the rock there, you will find several symbols, and we are going to light them up. And the order doesn't matter. Then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. Drop down here and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. You will find a bird statue here, 
so let's use the feather. This puzzle will appear. From left to right, we are going to hit the left one three times, and the top one in the middle once, and finally the bottom one in the middle once. So let me demonstrate. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. We are going to do this challenge. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Glide down here and defeat the enemies. Here you can dig up a chest. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. There's a bird statue here, so let's use the feather. An electro silly will appear. And here we need to solve a puzzle. So come here and face towards south, downward on the minimap. We are facing five stones, and we need to activate them in a specific order. First hit the right one, so the fifth one. And then hit the second one. And then hit the fourth one. And then the middle one, so the third one. And finally the first one, so the left one. After that, let's follow this electro silly. And for you who are wondering about the order of activating the stones, here near this bird statue, you can use the feather and the order is shown on the wall. Alright, then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap and drop down here, defeat the enemies. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Drop down here and defeat the enemies. Then let's teleport back. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. You will find two electro pillars here. And on the other side, in the east direction, there are two more electro pillars. And we need to activate them all in a short period of time. So let's activate these two first. Then grab an electro granum here and teleport across. And activate these two. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. 
Near the water here, let's pick up two relay stones. One here and one on the other side. And then let's place them between these two devices in order to connect them. Then let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards north, slightly towards west. Climb up here, and to your left, let's defeat the enemies. Then continue to head north. Come to this bird statue and use the feather. And four torches will appear around us. The first one in the northeast direction, upper right on the minimap. The second one in the west direction, left side on the minimap. The third one in the southeast direction, bottom right on the minimap. And the last one in the southwest direction, bottom left on the minimap. Then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. We are going to do this challenge. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. And head towards north, upward on the minimap. up here. Near this bush, you will find this relay stone. Then in the northeast direction, there's another relay stone inside this bush. And here basically we need to place these two relay stones between these three devices. Then let's climb up here in the east direction. We're going to do this challenge. Grab an electrogranum and teleport up. Follow the path. Then head west, left side on the minimap. Come to this edge and let's climb up from here. Climb all the way up here and head towards south, downward on the minimap. Follow this path and climb up. Before we do this challenge, let's first come to this bush. Behind it, there's a chest. Now let's go ahead and do the challenge. We are going to collect electro particles, so follow the path.
towards northwest, upper left on the mini map, and drop down here. You should have gotten this chest as you do the World Quest series. So if you have done the World Quest series already, then it's very likely that you already gotten this chest. After that, let's head towards south, downward on the mini map. There's an electro ceiling here, so let's follow it. After that, turn around. You will see a bird statue here. So let's use the feather. After that, three sealies will appear. So let's follow the middle one first. It will lead us here to pick up this stone. Alright, then let's go back and follow a second silly. Climb up here. We are going to defeat the enemies in this corner. After that, we can dig up this stone. Then let's go back and follow the last Sealy. And here's the last stone. Now let's come back and place the three stones on these spots. And the sealies will show the symbols on the wall. And this is essentially the order which you need to activate these stones. So we are facing towards southeast, bottom right on the mini map. There are five stones here in total. So from left to right, first we are going to activate the second one, and then the middle one, and then the first one, and then the fifth one, and finally the fourth one. After that, head towards northeast, upper right on the mini map, and follow the path. Come to this electrogranum and teleport up. Here you will see another electrogranum, so grab it and continue to teleport up. And on this level, you will see another electrogranum. And here we're going to teleport two times and then glide towards east, right side on the minimap. We are going to climb up here. Near the electrogranum, you will see this bird statue. So let's use the feather here. 
on the wall you will see these symbols. Some of them are brighter and essentially we are going to trigger these symbols on the wall which are brighter. So turn towards west and you will see a bunch of symbols. Let's first light up this one and this one. Then come down here and turn towards west, left side on the minimap. We are going to light up this one. And for the last one, let's drop down here. And it's above this electrogranum. After that, let's grab this electrogranum nearby and teleport up and glide towards east, right side on the minimap. Land here and grab another electrogranum and teleport up. Grab another electrogranum again and teleport twice and glide towards east right side on the minimap we are going to climb up here again this time grab this electrogranum and teleport up head towards northwest upper left on the minimap jump down here there's a puzzle that we're going to solve. We are facing towards north. And we're going to hit the left block twice. And then hit the right block twice. And in the middle, there's a third block. And we're going to hit it once. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Let me change to daytime. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Drop down here and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Here you will find three probes, and around there are several electro lamps. Let's clear the bushes in the middle so that we see better. Come over here and face towards east, right side on the minimap. And we are going to activate the electro lamps from right to left one by one. So let me demonstrate. So first, let's activate this one. Then the Sealy will come to the first lamp. After that, we are going to activate this second lamp. And the Sealy will come to this second lamp. And essentially these probes will follow this electro Sealy. Now let's activate the third lamp. And it's here. And finally, activate the last lamp. And these probes will be positioned correctly. Then head 
towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. And here defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport back. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here we are going to solve a puzzle. So let's come over here and face towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. From left to right, we are going to hit the first one three times. And then this single one in the middle twice. And finally the far right one three times. Then head towards south downward on the minimap. Let's start this challenge. Then head towards west left side on the minimap. Lie down here and defeat the enemies. The chest is inside this hub. Then let's head towards south, downward on the minimap, and climb up here. And here we are going to solve a puzzle. There are three blocks in the front row, and there's one block in the back. So first, we are going to hit the middle one in the front row twice. After that, we are going to hit this one in the upper row twice. Then climb up here and head towards south downward on the minimap. Go around the rock here and you will see a challenge. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Jump down here, we are going to solve a puzzle. First, come to this bird statue and use the feather. And then you can follow the video on how to move these stones so that they are placed in the correct positions. There are many steps here, so feel free to watch the video and pause and then go into the game, do the steps and then come back to the video. So follow the steps here to move the stone as shown in the video.
After that, let's head towards north, slightly towards west, and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading towards north. Inside this hub, there's a Sealy, so defeat the enemies and follow the Sealy. Here grab an Electrogranum and teleport across. After that, in the north direction, there are three probes. And here let's first use a Pyro character to destroy the second and the third Electro ores as they will interfere with the process. So let's just leave one electro ore, this one to the right. Get close to it and our character will get this electro element. So now let's position the probes one by one. And if the electro status on our character has disappeared, simply come back to the electro ore. Next, let's continue to head towards north upward on the minimap. Go around the mountain here. You will find a door. So let's rotate it such that it's facing towards east, right side on the minimap. Go through it and it will teleport us up. Come all the way here and to your right. So in the south direction, there's an electro lamp. So let's activate it. And then let's teleport back. And here behind the door, there are three more electro lamps. So let's activate them. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint and then head towards west, left side on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Jump down here. You will find an electrogranum. Grab it and head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Go through the barrier, and in front of this tree, there's a chest. After that, beside there's a bird statue, so let's use the feather here. Then an electrogranum will appear, so let's grab one and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Go through the barrier and open the chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and drop down here. Come to this door and rotate it so that it's pointing towards southwest. Go through it, and it will teleport us to the other side. And here, let's start this challenge. Let's go through this door and it will teleport us up. And then let's climb up on this shrine. After that, head towards west, left side on the minimap.
drop down here on this island. In the middle there's a relay stone. So let's pick it up and then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. We are going to place the relay stone here near the mint in order to connect these two devices. In the south direction, there are two more devices that we need to connect. So head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There's an electro sealy here. We are going to trigger it as it will help us to connect one of the devices. And now it will connect the device in the middle. And for the last one, we can use our character as a node to connect it. You can get the electro element from the electro sealy. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Jump down here. In this bush, there's a relay stone, so let's pick it up. Then in the north direction, in this tree, there's another relay stone, so let's pick it up. We are going to place one near this edge to connect these two devices. And then let's place the second one near this location to connect these two devices. And if you have trouble finding the perfect spot to connect these two, there's a third relay stone in the southeast direction. So go ahead and pick it up and connect between the device and the second relay stone. After that, let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. There's a challenge here. And here we're going to collect electro particles. And this one, they are scattered around, so it might be difficult to find and in that case, you can watch the video first, so that you get a rough idea where they are. After that, let's go back to get the chest. It's in the east direction. Next, let's head towards this location. So head towards west, left side on the minimap. Behind this tree, in this gap, there's hidden a chest. Then let's head towards west, left side on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. and defeat the enemies. Then continue to head southwest. Near the water here, you will find a relay stone. So let's pick it up. And on the other side, there's a second one. And we're going to connect this device behind this bush to the other one. So let's place a relay stone in between here. And then let's place another relay stone between here to connect the other two. Then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. On this rock you will find a bird statue, so let's use the feather. 
this electro lamp will appear. So let's activate it. Behind it, there's another bird statue. So let's come over here and use the feather. This electro lamp will appear. So activate it and repeat the process. This is the last electro lamp. Activate it and defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap and climb up here. Take a right turn, so turn towards east, right side on the minimap. There's a bird statue here, so let's use the feather. This will activate the stones nearby and we are going to activate them in a specific order. So there are a total of 5 stones nearby. And from left to right, we are going to activate the third one first. And then activate the first one, so the far left one. And then activate the fourth one. And then the second one. And finally, the fifth one, so the far right one. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come down here and defeat the enemies. This chest is inside this hub. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Come to this edge, there's a mint. And jump all the way down, turn towards south, downward on the minimap. In this corner, there's a silly. So let's defeat the enemies and follow it. And here we pass by this chest guarded by monsters. So let's take the chance to defeat it and open the chest. Then let's go back and continue to follow the Sealy. It's in the north direction. Turn towards west, left side on the minimap. There's an electro sealy here, so let's trigger it. Basically, it will show us the order which we need to activate these electro lamps. So, basically, we are going to activate this electro lamp that's closest to us, and for the rest, we are going to light them up from right to left. So, let me demonstrate. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Start this challenge. Next, we are heading towards this location. So continue to head southwest. Come down here and defeat the enemy. 
All right, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, up or on the minimap, climb up here. Near this bird statue, you will find this relay stone on the ground, so let's pick it up and place it around here to connect the devices. Then let's come back to this bird statue and use the feather. And to your left, in the northwest direction, this switch will appear, so let's activate it. This basically shows you the order which you need to follow to activate the stones. Let's jump down here, and beside the tree trunk, there's a bird statue. So let's use the feather. This will activate the stones around us. There are five of them. First, we are going to activate this one beside the bird statue. And then we are going to activate this one in the north direction, the one in this corner a bit further away. Then we are going to activate this one in the south direction. And then this one in the west direction. And finally this one in the east direction. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Climb up here, we are going to solve a puzzle. Let's come to the middle here and face towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. From left to right, we are going to hit the first one twice, and then hit the middle one once, and then hit the right one once. Then in the northwest direction, in this corner, Near the bush, there's a bird statue, so let's use the feather. And in the northwest direction, look down, several blocks have appeared. We are going to hit this one in the northwest direction once. Then turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. In this corner, we are going to hit this one twice. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, right side on the minimap. Grab an electrogranum and teleport up. Behind the tree, there's a chest. Then let's teleport back. And head towards north, upward on the minimap. Jump down here, we are going to solve a puzzle. But first, clear the enemies. Then come to the middle here, there's a bird statue. So use the feather. And around us, there are several stones on the ground. And we need to move them in a specific order, in order to position them in the correct spots. So follow the video step by step.
right after that, we are heading towards this wave rider waypoint. here and here to your right in this corner there's a chest defeat the enemies then head towards east right side on the minimap and climb up here defeat the enemies then head towards northeast upper right on the minimap and here we're going to solve a puzzle Let's clear the bushes here. So we are facing towards northwest, upper left on the mini map. And if for some reasons it's bugged, so the blocks are not lit and you cannot rotate them like what's shown here in the video, then simply relog and come back. We are going to hit the top left one three times. And then we are going to hit the bottom right one three times. Then turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There's another puzzle. And for this one, we only need to hit the top one in the back two times first. And then we are going to hit the middle one in the back three times. Then turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And there's a bird statue here. So let's use the feather and these blocks will appear. And we are facing towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. So first, we are going to hit the top left one two times. And then hit the right one three times. After that, defeat the enemies. And then hit towards east, right side on the minimap. Here defeat the enemy. Then head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. We are going to do a challenge here. We are going to swim across. And here if you are short with stamina, then you will have to take your time and swim slowly. And if you have other characters like Mona, then you are pretty much safe. But otherwise, take your time to swim, we have plenty of time. Then here grab an Electrogranum and teleport up. Teleport up twice and then turn around. There's one in the east direction. This one may be easy to miss. Then let's come back and grab another Electrogranum and teleport up. For the last one, you can climb up here and then glide towards it. Alright, next, 
let's teleport to this waypoint head towards northeast upper right on the minimap and jump down here you will see that there's a bird statue here so let's come to it and use the feather and then these symbols will appear on the wall and basically we need to light up these symbols as indicated on the wall then turn towards west left side on the minimap there you will see all the symbols so basically it's the far left one this one and this one up here and the far right one these four so let's grab an electrogranum in the southwest direction and teleport across touch them to activate them Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and jump down here. There's a chest in front of this tree, and this one should be unlocked as you do the Warcraft series when you have gathered these three sealies, and it's highly likely that you have opened this chest already. Then let's jump down here, and then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. In this corner, you will see a bird statue. So let's use the feather here. After that, you will see these symbols lit on these stones. And we need to activate them in a specific order. There are five stones in total. So from left to right. First, we are going to hit the fourth one. And then activate the first one. And then the second one and then the fifth one and finally the middle one so the third one then let's head towards east right side on the minimap come up here to your right there's an electro lamp so let's activate it then continue to head towards northeast. Near the route, there's the second electro lamp. Then let's climb up here and head towards north upward on the minimap. And in the east direction, there's the third lamp. And finally, in the northwest direction, there's the last lamp. Activating four lamps, this chest will appear. Then let's head towards north, upward on the minimap. There's an entrance here. Enter here and follow the path. Come to this location. Two enemies will appear. Defeat them and then turn towards north, upward on the minimap. In this corner, there's a bird statue. Use the feather and this electrogranum will appear. So let's grab it and climb over here take a left turn there's a barrier so let's go through it inside let's do this challenge to unlock this chest then in the west direction in this corner let's grab an electrogranum in order to get out then turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Come to this wall. On this wall, you will find this standard bird drawing. And here, let's use the feather. Then this wall will disappear. 
and inside there's a chest and it contains a quest item and in the northeast direction there's a chest we should have gotten this one as we did the world quest series when we unlocked this gate so if you have done the world quest series then you have probably gotten this chest after that turn towards northwest upper left on the minimap there's another wall with this bird drawing on it so use the feather and it will disappear enter here and turn towards north upward on the minimap up here there's a chest and it contains a quest item as well then let's exit and head towards northeast upper right on the minimap come down the stairs here come to the end there's a wall with another bird drawing so come over here to use the feather this wall will disappear enter it and take a right turn and head towards northeast upper right on the minimap and follow this path come to this position and turn towards northwest upper left on the minimap on this wall you will find several torches and we are only going to light up some of them so we are going to light up these two in the far right and these two in the bottom left After that, turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. You will see three electro sealy here. So let's go ahead and trigger them. Then check this one in the north direction. You should have already positioned this probe to our left in the correct direction already. So we should not trigger it. And in the southeast direction, there are still two electro -sealies, and we are going to trigger them. Now turn towards northwest upper left on the minimap. There's a second sealy that has positioned this probe in the correct direction already. So we should not trigger it. And finally turn towards northeast upper right on the minimap. Let's trigger this sealy in this corner and let's follow it. But make sure that you go around the first sealy so that you avoid triggering it. And now we need to go to the other corner and make sure that you go around the second sealy also in case you triggered it accidentally. Then while our character still has the electro status, let's come to the fourth probe here and position it correctly and a chest will appear in the middle so basically three sealies will help us to position three probes correctly and we need to manually position this fourth probe and if your character has lost the electro status you can approach one of the electro sealy slowly there's a range that you can approach it to get this electro status without triggering it so try it using walk mode then let's head towards west left side on the minimap and climb up on this wall then turn towards southeast bottom right on the minimap in this corner there's a chest and it contains the last hidden exploration objective item Alright, then let's come back now and let's head back, so follow the path. Come back to the gate here and let's enter here. Follow the path here. There's a chest and this one should be unlocked as we did the world quest series when we have gathered these three sealies. So it's very likely that you have gotten this one already. Then turn towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. Come into this room and on each wall we can place 
the hidden exploration objective item that we have gotten in the previous chests you should have gotten three star shaped gems and if you happen to miss one or more of them check back in the video specifically check chest number 102 104 and 107 otherwise place these three gems on each wall and then three electro sealies will appear and we are going to find them later on for now let's first open the chest and explore this area then turn towards north slightly towards east under this building there's a chest Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap, and follow this path. Come to this end, there are several torches, and we need to only light up some of them. So we are going to light up these two on the right. And then light up this one in the bushes after that let's head back exit here and head towards south downward on the minimap there's a chest here which we have unlocked as we did the world quest series when we unlocked this gate so again you probably have gotten this one then let's go through the gate here and then turn towards south downward on the minimap near the root here there's a bird statue so use the feather and these torches on the wall will appear and we are only going to light up some of them so from left to right we are only going to light up the second one the third one and the fifth one then let's go ahead and open this chest and the game will hint us to look at this bird statue in the corner in the west direction so let's go ahead and use the feather here then this switch will appear activated the water level will go down here so let's follow the path come down here in the northwest direction there's a challenge completing it this gate will open and the chest will appear behind it then head towards north upward on the minimap and climb up here and here basically we are back to the previous gate so let's go through it again and follow the path come all the way here and in this room in the middle there is also an electroculus in case you haven't gathered it already got a video for that also in case you need all right then let's enter here look around you will find seven statues in this room and for each of them you can place a stone slate and if you have followed this video so far you should have gotten all seven stone slates these are obtained from the chests that relate to the stone puzzles and if you happened to miss one or more then check back in the video specifically on chest 24 44 57 75 84 89 and 99 otherwise go ahead and insert the stone slates into these statues and after that two chests will appear in the middle after that let's go and find the three electro so teleport to this waypoint 
head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Look down here, there's the silly. So let's follow it. Here, let's climb up. And you should see this one arrived to this position and the lamp is lit. Then let's go for the next one. So let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Climb up here. Then head towards north, upward on the minimap. Grab an electrogranum here and teleport up. Then keep going up. So follow the path. And here's the second electro silly. So let's follow it. Alright, and now it has arrived at this position and the second lamp is lit, so that's done. Now let's go for the last Sealy, so teleport to this waypoint again. And head towards east, right side on the minimap. From here turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Look up, there's the electro silly on this rock. So go ahead and climb up and then follow it. Some internet lag here. A few hours later.
right and you should have arrived at the destination and the lamp is lit as we can see here now let's go around there's a chest waiting for us right next let's teleport to this waypoint head towards north slightly towards west down here and we are going to activate this wave rider waypoint and then summon a wave rider and sail towards north aboard on the minimap we are going to head towards this domain now even if you have unlocked this domain already i would still recommend you to take the wave rider So we are going to head towards this island first. to do a challenge After that, let's go back to the Wave Rider. Go around here and head towards north upward on the minimap. defeat the enemies then go back to the wave rider and head towards south downward on the minimap here we're going to do another challenge after that go back to the wave rider there are these mora boxes on the water so feel free to take them we are heading towards southeast bottom right on the minimap
and he'll defeat the enemies. Then we are going to defeat more enemies in the south direction. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap, and here we're going to do a challenge. Then let's go back to the wave rider. and head towards the domain, we are going to unlock it. And if you already have it unlocked, you can teleport there directly. Basically, we will get one chest by unlocking this domain. So if you have unlocked it previously, then you probably have that chest already. Here we are going to need an electro character to light up this electro pillar. Then continue to head northwest. Near the bush, there's the second electro pillar. Then go around here. And in the east direction, there's the third pillar. Activate all three pillars and this domain will be unlocked. And the next two are from the Shrine of Depths. So make sure that you have two more keys. All right after that, Let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Jump down here and there's the shrine. If you need a guide on how to obtain all 10 Shrine of Depths keys, check the description below. There's a link. Alright, next. Let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And you can already see the shrine there. And those are the two shrines in Surumi Island. For the next part, you will have to wait until the next server reset. Because if you remember in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that the layout of this island will change from day to day. So you can either wait until the next day or skip ahead in the video and do the hidden exploration objectives already. Alright, then let's teleport to this statue of the seven and head towards south downward on the minimap. Then let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. There's the chest near the tree. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards north, upward on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, slightly towards west. Defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. Turn towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap, and follow this path. Defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, 
Let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, slightly towards south. Climb up here and defeat the enemies. Then let's climb up here in the north direction. And defeat the enemies. Right after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards east, right side on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Go around the rock here and defeat the enemies. After that, let's go around the rock and climb up here. And here grab an electrogranum and teleport up. Turn towards east and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn towards north, upward on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading towards north, slightly towards east. Lie down here and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Jump down here and head towards south. Defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. And here defeat the enemies. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head towards north, up or on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Alright, and those are the chests that will appear in the second day cycle. For the next part, you will have to wait until the next server reset. So that will be the third cycle. So let's teleport back to the statue. And head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint, turn around and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint, head towards north, slightly towards east. And drop down here, defeat the enemies. Then continue to head north, upward on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back. 
head towards east, right side on the minimap, and follow this path. After that, let's teleport back. Head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Then head towards south, downward on the minimap. Look down here, there's the chest. Then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Come near the water here and defeat the enemies. After that, Let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Then head north, upward on the minimap, and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Jump down here and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Look down, there's the chest. Then continue to head towards southeast. Swim across and defeat the enemies. After that, let's teleport back and head towards east, right side on the minimap. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards west, left side on the minimap. Defeat the enemies. Then head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Next, let's teleport back and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and follow this path. And this should be the last chest that we can collect from the open world. For the rest, we need to do hidden exploration objectives. And for the most part, it's quite straightforward, except to that takes longer time. Then let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards north, upward on the minimap. Slightly towards west. By the way, these explorations require you to have completed the whole 4-day Warcraft series. Otherwise, you won't be able to see this NPC. Come all the way to this edge and you will find this NPC. Interact with it. And during the dialogue, you will get a location. So let's teleport to this waypoint. 
and head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Climb over this wall here and come to this tree. Let's clear this bush here and at this exact location we can dig up a monster but defeat it and you will get a chest near the tree here. Alright after that let's head towards northwest upper left on the minimap. Come to this gap here and jump down. Turn towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. In this corner, in this bush, you will find this NPC. Interact with it and then you will disappear. Then let's teleport to this waypoint. Basically we are going to play a hide and seek game with him. Then head towards east, right side on the minimap and it's in this corner. Next, let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And it's behind the wall here, near the lamp. Alright, after that, let's teleport back. Head towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Follow the path and come to this tree here. You will find it beside the tree. After that, let's teleport back again. And head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Fly towards this tree. And it's behind the tree. Interact with it and this is the last time and you will get a chest afterwards. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And for the next one, we are going to need some of these Sakura Bloom. And you need at least four of them. So if you don't have enough, now I will show you a quick way where to grab some. So let's teleport to this waypoint near the Sakura tree. Go to your right and we are going to circle around this area. And you can easily find 4 to 6 Sakura Bloom around here. So simply follow the path. And if you have enough, feel free to skip ahead in the video and start with the exploration objective. Alright, then I think we have enough. Then let's teleport back to this waypoint. And head towards west, left side on the minimap. We are going to glide towards this statue. Behind the statue, near the tree, there are two NPC, so interact with them. We are going to interact twice, and in the second time, we can submit this Sakura Bloom. After that, Let's teleport to this waypoint and then head towards south, downward on the minimap, slightly towards west. Near the rock here, you can find these two NPC. Interact with them twice 
and the second time again give them this flower all right after that let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap Come to this edge and look down in the west direction. There are the NPC. Again, interact and then give them the flower. All right, after that, let's climb up here and head towards south downward on the minimap. Lie down here and head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. They are near the rock here, so jump down and interact and give them another flower. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap. Go around the rock here and follow the path. These two are in this corner. This time interact with them and you will be rewarded a chest. And also you will get this item, Kito's Sachet, which we will need for another exploration. But for now, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Come to the edge here and jump down. We are going to jump down here near the boat. And here you will find a conch. So interact with it. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And head towards north upward on the minimap. Jump all the way down here. Behind the electrogranum, you will find a second conch, so pick it up. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Jump down here, and behind the vases, you can see this conch here. So let's pick it up. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this statue of the seven and head towards south downward on the minimap. Near the water here, you will find the last conch. Then let's teleport back and head towards north upward on the minimap. Come to this edge and interact with this NPC and you will get a treasure map. So let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards southwest bottom left on the minimap. We are going to jump down here and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap and follow the path. Come to this end near the bird statue and the rock we can dig up a chest. Right next let's teleport to this waypoint 
uh, towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, you will see this electro lamp here near the bush. And we are going to light it up. In this exploration, we are going to light up all the lamps in this area. So follow closely. I recommend you to use normal play speed and follow along. Otherwise, you should watch the video and pause it, follow in the game, and then come back to the video. Just in case you miss one or two lamps along the way. And at the end, you may not get the chest because it requires all the lamps to be lit. And it's rather painful to rewatch this part just for one or two unlit lamps.
right after that. Interact with this NPC, she's a... And then in the south direction, there's a bird statue. So come here and use the feather. And this last lamp will appear. So light it up. And then interact with this NPC again. And you will be rewarded a chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Let's jump down here in the northwest direction. We are going to do some fishing. And here, after you have successfully caught one fish, we are going to exit the fishing mode. And then this NPC will appear. After the dialogues, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards northwest upper left on the minimap Jump down here, near the deck, you will see this bird statue. So let's use the feather here, and these fish will appear. So here we are going to do more fishing. When you have successfully caught a fish, there is a chance that you will get an item, Makiri's charm. And if you run out of fish, you can change the period of day. So if you are during the day, change it to night. And if you are during the night, change it to the next day. And hope for the best that you can get this item. And if not, then you will have to wait until the next time when the fish respawn and then try again. And here I'm just super lucky to get this item with the last fish. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head towards west, left side on the minimap, and interact with this NPC. Here we are going to submit this item that we got from fishing. After that, we will get a chest. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards north upward on the minimap. We are going to jump down here. And then enter this cave in the northeast direction and follow the path. Come all the way here, and in the south direction, you'll see a bunch of mushroom in this corner. Go ahead and pick them up, and then an NPC will appear. After that, we are going to have to wait for two server resets. So that's two days in real life. So after waiting for two days, come back to this location and you will see the mushrooms are respawned. And now we are going to pick up these mushrooms again. And this NPC will appear again. After the dialogues, interact with it again. And we need to submit some mushrooms. 
and here we need to submit three fill animal mushrooms and three normal mushrooms and after that we will get a chest all right next let's teleport to this waypoint and the next exploration is going to take five real days meaning five server resets so head north and jump down here you will find this npc una interact with her and basically for the following four days we are going to interact with this npc simple as that you can have interruption in between that's totally fine and every day after the interaction with her you will get three sakura blooms and in case you are curious in one of the previous exploration two npc wanted sakura bloom and they are the grandkids of this npc all right then on the fifth day we are going to interact with her again after the first interaction and here we are going to submit this item that we got previously so if you don't have this item go back to the video and check the previous explorations all right after that let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards east right side on the minimap jump down here in front of this statue, you will find this NPC, Boatman. Interact with it. After that, interact with it again. And this last one requires you to have completed all the exploration objectives. But if you have followed this video this far, then you should have all of them completed. After that, you will be rewarded the last chest on this island. So now let's check our achievement counter. And you should have exactly 169 chests and 16 counts for the challenge. For Electro Sealies and Sealies, they are not shown. And alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.